What's up? Floor Keys, baby. Woo! What's up, guys? I'm Marty Ulmer. We're down here in the Florida Keys. It's open day lobster season. Every year, everybody comes down to Key West, kind of get to the, get their hands on some of these lobsters. People come down, bring their boats, kids, families. It's a great sport. Uh, this is my first experience, and it was awesome. Seeing the people, the scenery, the vibe, can't beat it. So the goal is to get out super early before the crowd comes. Left the house about four, get out there, it's pitch dark, looking with our spotlights through the channel, trying to find our way out. So we're out, we're in our position, watch the sunrise, we're getting in the water, first light. So first light, we uh, jumped in the water and it, the experience was crazy. We got down there and lobster were everywhere. I didn't expect to see as many as I did. Everybody's got their own technique for catching lobster, what we like. I've got relatives down in Belize, they showed us a Trick. We made a snare on a tickle stick. They're all over now. You can buy them in your local dive shops. What we do, we find the lobster under the ledges. We tickle them out. We've got a snare on the other. We just loop it around, pull them. I've got measuring sticks, bags, everything set. Once we snare the lobster, you've got to be careful of the spines. We've got to measure them, make sure they're legal, release the shorties, make sure there's no eggs. We bag them, we bring them back. So you guys can either snorkel, or put tanks on. We were in seven, eight, 12 foot of water. Personally, I like putting a tank on, even in 10 feet. It's just, I'm not a young spring chicken anymore. We got state limits down there. You're allowed six per person per day. The lobsters have to be three inches from the horns to the back of the shell. If they're legal, we bag them. If they're short, let them go to live another day. We repeat until we have our quota. Got a nice lobster here, just got them. A little soft, must have just molted the shell about a week ago or so. This one's a male. He's got single swimettes. Females usually got another swim out on the inside. It looks like a little pincher almost to hold their eggs. Yeah, freaking teeth out there. Lobster can actually bite you if you get your finger up in there real tight. It's like two molars and it won't take your finger off, but it doesn't feel good. <laughs> this is a female. It's got the double swimettes. See how they look kind of like they're Pinchers almost, but they can't pinch you. They're just made to hold their eggs in nice and tight. So this isn't limited just to the keys. You can do this anywhere in the tropics. All you need is a boat, some friends, a gloves and tickle stick, and you're good to go. So all you gotta do is jump in, search the bottom floor, and hopefully they're around. What makes this so great for the families? This time of year, the weather's great, conditions are perfect, you got a breeze, cools it down. It's 80 some degrees, but it feels great. <laughs> That's what we saw down there. Oh, some big lobster. And actually, uh, a lot of good spot right there, but I've been released a lot of shorties too. Can you hear them? Oh, yeah. I've, I've, called other, I've called other ones out of the hole. I have one in my hand and the other's back up. <laughs> and I'll, you know, and I'll, they'll crawl out to see what he's saying. No way. How's that look for you? So we jumped on board after we were done, after getting the hogfish and the lobster limit. And we got on board and we went home and we grilled out. We're going to do it all again tomorrow. At least 45, 50 pounds. <laughs> this is something I hope next year I can come out and do again. And the year after that, and the year after that. I love the keys. People are incredible. I just love the atmosphere. It's great. And hopefully maybe in October we can come down and do some sword fishing. This has become our family tradition. We hope you do the same. We look forward to doing this for many years to come. We got a couple guys from SA join us as well. They brought us a bunch of nice gear and they helped us clean the ocean floor too. Hey man, you need a new shirt. That's last year's model. Yeah, I know man. Gotta get with the cons, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna back 2013. Old school! Let's see that new shirt. Let's see the newish. There it is. You got old shirts, get with it. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of SATV. My name is Rick. See you next time.